Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting video. I am literally already obsessed with this and I haven't even tested it out. Today we're going to be trying some Studio London makeup. This is the in-house brand for Superdrug, just like I'll pop a picture up here, 17 is for boots. So I'm very excited to try this out. The whole range is really, really aesthetic. Everything is just the millennial pink that I'm absolutely in love with. So I am so excited to try this out. The most expensive product in here is 7 pounds everything else was five and under it's very very affordable let's just hope it performs pretty well and yeah let's just go ahead and get started So like I was saying, the most expensive product was the foundation. I'm not sure about the shade. It was very difficult to pick a shade, even though they had like little testers in store. I did go buy all of this in store. But this was, like I said, the most expensive product, which was £7 and everything else was five and under. So very, very excited for this. We do have a lot to get through. So let's just go ahead and get started. Everything is sealed and has a little protective sticker on it. So that's good. I just need to get my hair out the way. Also, I got new light so because today the whole aesthetic is pink i decided to go with pink light i hope you like it i think it's really cute i got a few different like shades of color shades inserts for color i have no idea where i just ended off because my mom just called me so i quickly had to click off the camera but i got new light i really like it it has like little covers that you slide on top with different colors so i thought that was a cute little addition to this and like i said this is so aesthetically pink i have to change the background as well let's start off with the first product it was sealed like i said i took the security sticker off this is what it looks like again pink lid and pink product very cute and happy with that so far we'll see how it is this is the you you matter smoothing matte primer reduces appearance of pores and it's 16 hour wear so go ahead and try this it's just a squeezy tube and it looks like a gel i think it's going to be one of those silicone yeah silicone primers i'm not going to disrupt too much i'm just going to try and pat that into the face and also it's a very very mattifying as you can see i actually haven't had a nice pore blurring primer for a really long time i've tested so many on my channel in the last few years or couple of years but this seems all right i think it did help to reduce the appearance of my pores obviously doesn't take your pores away but it kind of just mattified my face enough to make them appear smaller i'm actually not sure if they had any up any primers i got so excited when i was in the store i just like threw everything in my baskets and when i got to the till i had like duplicates of things just because i got so excited i just threw everything in so this product i think is pretty good next let's move into foundation this is the studio london by superdrug blonde flawless perfecting foundation spf 20 and a 12 hour wear that is what it looks like the color doesn't look exactly great but i did test some in my foot is so itchy i did try some in store and it looked like it was close enough and i'm just going to pop some of that on there it seems pretty liquidy but like i said the color match might be slightly off yeah it looks very deep so i'm only going to use a little bit of this and then just try and spread it all over the face obviously i want to tap over the primer just because i don't want it to lift and disrupt the foundation underneath my foot is so itchy i don't know what's going on it's just the one as well okay this is blending very very nicely like i said it is slightly too deep but i think i can get away with it this foundation's looking really good even though i have a mattifying primer underneath it looks very very natural again slightly too dark but i can get away with it it is winter where i am now so i haven't seen much of the sun so yeah i think i could get away with this especially in summer i like that it's in a plastic bottle i do prefer a pump but second to pumps is the squeezy tube rather than just pouring the foundation out like the Maybelline Fit Me range with no pumps or anything but this is really compact and easy to travel with so really like this so far so so good I'm really happy with this it kind of reminds me a bit of the essence foundation that I used recently that I really love very happy with that moving into concealer we have the studio London everything studio London I don't have to say that but it's flaunt flawless cream concealer weightless full coverage and I got mine in the shade number six 
that is the packaging on this really gorgeous again i think my light is kind of washing the cap out but it is like a soft millennial pink i think the whole range is really really aesthetic like all the packaging it's affordable products but it doesn't feel cheap to me it's got fairly standard doe fit applicator and the color looks very orange. I might put some down base just to brighten it up in the middle. I got a bunch of new brushes from Shein and from Peaches and Cream, but I don't really want to use them. I like leaving like my brushes just to look pretty and clean for as long as possible. Oh, it's blending in really easily. I'm just using a flat paddle brush. I didn't wet my sponge once again. That seems to be an ongoing trend here. Okay, on the rest of my face, I'm not like noticing much coverage, but it could be because of the shade. But anyway, let's go to the under eyes. It does feel a bit stiff, but that color actually blends in really well with this foundation. Coverage is pretty good as well. I can barely see my under eyes. I can see obviously a line over there. So I'm just going to take my foundation brush again and just tap over these lines just to make it look a bit more seamless. I think if you are me and you don't really like matte products, I know that primer was mattifying, but I wanted something for my pores, which you can see is still diminished. So if you are like me and have quite large pores and combination skin, both the concealer and the foundation are actually really great. So I'm gonna jump off camera and just quickly outline and fill my brows. And then we have a brow gel to try from Studio London. For brow gel, we have the Boss Brow Lash and Brow Gel Separation and Lift. Um, I hate it when they do that at like a lash and brow because then it doesn't have the best hold in my opinion. But let's go ahead and see what we're working with. It does seem very watery and it smells like alcohol. It kind of feels like a cheap essence one, but we'll see if this holds and dries down because I don't want to speak too soon. It is very watery though and the applicator is rather large. Not much control over there. I have got some on my skin. How this dries down because yeah, you can't judge it so quickly because I don't know if it's going to hold, but so far it feels too wet to be like the brow gels I like, which keep your brows up for ages and like kind of have that, I want to say like crusty, hard feeling. I prefer that because otherwise my brows just fall down. Let's go ahead and move on to cream bronzer. I got this little one. I noticed when I got home that I think this was used. Look how dirty the outer packaging is and also the seal is broken. I have a knack for doing that. It does also look like someone has swatched it. So what I'm going to do is just rub the first layer off on my hand and I'll also give us an indication of the shade which looks pretty good so I'm still going to use it it's not like it's going on my eyes or anything okay so I'm just going to take a fluffy angled brush this seems very very creamy and the shade I got is brave bronze so I picked some up over here and let's go ahead and try it on the face. Oh, that's a really natural shade on me. Wow. I don't like my bronzers to be too orange or too red toned. So that looks perfectly neutral. The texture is very creamy. It's not too stiff and the pigmentation is perfect. It's not too pigmented on the first application, but it's something you can build up, which is actually sometimes much better especially when you're doing makeup in a rush then you can tend to add too much product so far i'm really really impressed with everything i've tried it's just the brows i'm a bit worried about i actually can't stop using that it's so good i just want to keep applying it it's so easy to apply it basically blends itself out definitely recommend oh my goodness this is really good for five pounds amazing next moving on to cream blush i got this little everything's flaunt and flawless so let's not say that but it's a blusher cheek and lip pigment very very cute it has like a dome shaped lid and i think that is gorgeous i didn't get a powder blush i couldn't find one i don't know if i wasn't looking correctly but i just couldn't find one so i didn't get that and i'm just gonna go in with like a flat foundation brush i don't know in the that color and that color look different do they not i thought this was more of like a purpley color it's pink picked up quite a bit let's go ahead and pop this on the cheeks oh again loving that shade and the texture oh I think I can go in with a little bit more I was scared it was going to be too pigmented but that blends really well 
it is a bit stiff and I can feel like the resistance on my brush and again I picked up a lot I really like blush <laughs> and also we are going to powder this down and like I said I didn't get a powder blush so I'm gonna over blush slightly because it will dull down once we put powder on top I'm trying to see if it's lifting my foundation underneath but it really isn't so really happy with that again so stoked with all this stuff it was really really affordable and my skin is looking amazing moving into powder this is the it's just a setting powder weightless and mattifying a little bit a little bit scary being mattifying but that's okay i don't like my face being too shimmery so that is the packaging and again it's got like a little dome lid and in millennial pink it's got a really nice flat surface in the lid over there so i'm gonna pop some out in there and take a little triangle puff the concealer didn't crease that much i'm shocked that actually looks good I'm so shocked. Sure. Although saying that, like a lot of times you'll try products on the first application and then you go and use them again and you kind of, or you use them a couple of times and there's things that you find that you actually don't like. But upon first application, I really like this. I think I'd use everything again for sure. See what I said about the blush? Now it's kind of dulled it down. So at least we have enough to show through now. Oh, that powder feels nice and smoothing. It's not clinging onto anything on my face. And I really like that. Like I said, I didn't get a powder blush because I couldn't find one, but I did get, this is actually a pressed powder like to set your face, but I got a darker shade to use as a bronzer. And these are always the best for bronzer because it just has so much pigment because it's meant as like to set the face or I can't think of the word now what's wrong with me a powder foundation so it's basically a powder foundation so you get lots of pigment out of it very excited to try this but like I said I might just add a because the blush has faded so much now I think I'm going to just have to add a, one of my own blushes on lots of kick up in there but it's picking up I didn't even show you the product it's got another you matter pressed powder mattifying finish that is what it looks like same shape sorry i'm a bit chaotic because i had to leave and run down and also my partner is coming home so i am just on the phone with him okay let's try this out oh that's a bit orange but it's nicely warming up the face again after i kind of dulled out the cream bronzer i think that actually looks really nice really blendable i love everything in this video so far there's nothing i can say yeah there's one thing actually that I don't particularly like and I think you should save your money and buy something better and that's the brow gel. It's literally got no hold as you can see my eyebrows have already fallen so no to the brow gel that's probably the worst thing we tried today but everything else I think looks absolutely gorgeous would recommend let's go ahead and quickly set the face before we move on to eyes so I got the studio London by Superdrug you do you setting mist lightweight dewy thick that is what it looks like and the cap is again pink really nice bottle quite a decent size for five pounds testing the spritzer oh that seems very nice i don't notice any like huge globs on my face it's pretty evenly coated my face oh it does smell like alcohol though which is always not my favorite that's weird it doesn't actually have any alcohol in it oh there is alcohol alcohol but it's fix not good phenoxanthol i think that's a type of alcohol i could be mistaken pvp not sure what that is there's niacinamide butyl glycol capril glycol beta betaine and sodium hyaluronate so basically hyaluronic acid and niacinamide in it that is amazing so i'm just going to take a dry beauty blender and just push that into the skin it's added an extra glow to my face oh my gosh i love this let's go ahead and do the lips first before we move on to eyes because it will give me a better idea of what i want to do with the eyes sometimes i get a little bit carried away so i got a lip liner and this is the 12 hour precision lip liner and the shade i got here is gorgeous berry and it's just a normal pencil that you need to sharpen let's go ahead and line the lip i still have foundation all over my lip oops 
Okay, the pencil feels a bit hard, but sometimes that's good for staying power. I think if I resharpen it, it will be even better because I think there's like a layer of like waxiness that you just need to rub off. I really like the color. It's exactly what I wanted and what I thought it would be by the outer packaging. That also matters to me. So let's move on to the lipstick. The lipstick, I got a different shade, but this is the Power Pow 12 Hour Velvet Longwear Color. And I got Feeling Powerful. That is the component how cute everything just looks really dome shaped it kind of reminds me a little bit of rare beauty but way more affordable so let's go ahead and try this out this is the color it's slightly different from the outer color i don't know what i was thinking with that but let's go ahead and just try this on i can always change the lip liner out if i feel like it my lips are really really dry at the moment yeah those two colors don't go exactly together it kind of looks like popsicle lips with the darker ring around in red and then the like brownie color in the middle i really like that actually it's quite vampy but i think this will go amazingly with some of the other lip liners i have like a deep brown i think that will look even better but i do have a lot of reds as well that i like to pair with the darker lip liner so that will be perfect like i said my lips are very dry so i have like some dry skin on like hanging off my lips and i don't want to pull it off because i don't want to damage my skin so ignore that please <laughs> lastly we have i not scented at all in this but it's because i've been running up and down sorry i think the whole last clip was i was off center but anyway let's move on to eyes i got an eyeshadow palette that looks like this random colorway you know me i like random colors today i'm thinking i want to go for something more i was gonna say neutral but i guess we still can this is what it looks like it does have a protective little sheet over it which is good because people are rude and just swatch things now looking at this i kind of want to dip into that purple i'm not sure if it'll go with the lips though mm, maybe not maybe I don't know we'll see there's no actual transition color so i'm gonna dip into the shade over here and it's called dreamer it's like a purpley shade like a deep plum i'm not sure how this is gonna work it might be too deep for my crease but we'll go ahead and try it out i'm just slightly tilting my head back just because i can't really get into my crease without doing that okay yeah you can work this into the crease and just slightly sheer it out it's a really pretty color really happy with the pigmentation level i have like i said just sheared it out slightly because i want it in my crease i think that's very good the blendability is good the pigmentation's good it's not patching anywhere i haven't set my eyeshadow primer so it is still tacky and it hasn't like snagged onto any spot so i think that's a win my eye shapes are completely different so i have to kind of just play to my strengths here next i'm gonna dip into this middle shade here and it's called nightlife and it is just a deep deep brown so i'm just gonna take that on like a fluffy dome shaped brush and i'm going to just deepen out the outer corner oh my gosh it's almost black you can actually do a pretty purple smoky eye with this really pretty and as you know if you've watched my channel before i really like a dark shade on the outer corner just to kind of open my eyes up because i do have hooded eyes and some sometimes it can just make my eyes look really small but that's so easy to diffuse and absolutely gorgeous i also just use such dark shades and i have no fallout on my face really really happy with that Oh my goodness, looks so sultry. I've been very much into like sultry looks these days. I am going to, I don't know what I want to do. Let's swatch these two shimmers that I want to use. One is called Moon. The other one is Magic Hour. And they look like that. So these are kind of the two shades I'm thinking of using. And that's what they look like swatched. I think I'm going to go with this shade over here. I, I'm not really feeling the bronze. So I'm first going to take it on my finger. And we're just going to press that on the lid. Oh yeah, that's like a purpley brown color. I feel like this lipstick's making my teeth look rather yellow. The shimmers don't feel too soft or too hard. They're just pretty standard shimmers. I think they are very, very pretty and the pigmentation is definitely there. So just grabbing a flat brush, I'm going to pick some of that sh same shade up. And this time we're going to spray it with some setting spray. And I'm just going to intensify oh my gosh i absolutely love that oh i think i might use the green yeah let's go ahead and use this green over here and it's called dust and i'm gonna pick that up on a small little detail brush spray it with some setting spray i think i sprayed way too much on that and i'm just gonna pop that 
on my inner tear duct. Final verdict on the eyeshadow palette. I do like it. I love the shades in here. I love the shimmers. It's actually giving something and I'm really, really happy with that. However, my only qualm with the palette would be that there's no light transition shade there should have been like at least a mid-tone brown or mid-tone purple or even like a peach tone so maybe take out this red and replace it with something lighter that you could put through the crease i didn't get a mascara so i'm gonna jump off camera do some liner mascara and then i'll give you my final thoughts okay friends so this is the final look I am obsessed with the way this turned out. I love the eyes. Oh my god, I definitely made the right decision by using that tone. Purples always look amazing on brown eyes. I am very, very happy with the way this whole look, this whole look turned out. Obviously, that's what I was going to say. The lip wasn't the best because the actual lipstick didn't match the liner. But other than that, I think it came out amazingly and i am obsessed final thoughts on studio london the only product i would not recommend is the brow gel i've tried one from makeup revolution or makeup i heart makeup what is it called i heart revolution that honestly it it's like gel in your brows not the got to be your glue one that one's a little bit intense but uh, yeah i've just tried so many other ones that are slightly more expensive but this is no no good in my opinion if it's meant for the lashes i think it's you know that it's not going to be the biggest hold because with mascara i think and brow gel yeah anyway would not recommend but everything else i'm literally i'll say it and i'll say it again i uh, don't get sponsored by anybody this is a self-funded channel so everything i bought with my own money and i would literally recommend everything we put on our face besides the brow gel i think it is absolutely amazing that the price of the makeup is so low, but the quality is so high. Once again, my skin looks really, really good. The concealer held up, the powder's good. Really, really happy. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I'm really excited that I got to try this product. I think these are gonna be staples in my makeup routine and I am so, so excited to get more use out of it. But with that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.